uh, one thing that is uh, very important to understand is the relationship between various uh, wildcard types and um, types in general. And of course the reason that's important is that um, a wildcard type can be used as the uh, type of any declared variable um, or as the type of um, a method parameter or for example as the uh, return type of method. So when you're assigning a value to a variable of a wildcard type or uh, passing um, a value to um, a method parameter of a wildcard type or storing the result of a method which returns a wildcard type you have to understand type compatibility um, to understand whether you can do that type of assignment or not which means understanding subtyping and that's why subtyping is so important here okay let's have a look at um, this example here okay we're given that um, uh, interface uh, G of T, this generic interface here, um, extends uh, list of T and uh, we're also given that this uh, H of T, this generic interface, extends list of high and, um, and we're also as usual uh, low as a subtype of high and the question is what are the typing relationships um, for a list of something which extends high? Okay now first thing to note is that um, this here high is a concrete uh, type, uh, not a type parameter. So um, that's different to the case above, where these are both um, type parameters there. And uh, this, of course, is a, a concrete type, and that makes a big difference, as we'll see in a minute. Okay, let's uh, have a look. Uh, we've highlighted the one we're interested in here. And uh, uh, obviously, when you start to think about it, the um, the uh, easiest way to start getting subtypes is to uh, restrict this to a, a smaller and smaller type so you're extending something a bit smaller so obviously um, we've got a list of something which extends low that's obviously going to be a subtype of that and um, finally we can take out an, an individual um, type out of that and uh, that will also be a subtype of uh, that so list of low for instance is going to be a subtype of list of something that extends low Right, similarly we can go this way and decide that list of high is a, going to be a subtype of um, list of something that extends high. Now there's another way to get um, subtypes and that is to um, uh, deal with this list in front because we know that um, a, a G of uh, um, uh, this uh, type parameter T extends list of uh, T so um, we've got subtypes automatically using that so we can replace all these lists of whatever it is with G of the same thing and get subtypes that way and of course these are similarly going to be related in the same sort of way as this list stuff and uh, likewise we've got uh, G of high is going to be a subtype of uh, G of something that extends high and therefore automatically we've got another relationship here between list of high and uh, G of high Okay, right. Now the next thing to note is that we've got list of high here and we can get subtypes by saying H of something. So we could say H of absolutely anything at all and that would be a subtype of list of high. Okay, and, and this thing can be uh, really complicated. In fact, uh, there is therefore an infinite number of possible subtypes here. Um, it may sound a bit surprising and they're not very useful once they get very big but there is in theory an infinite number of subtypes you could have for example H of um, say um, H of list of something which extends G of something which extends um, list of something which extends high okay now it's not very useful but um, H of that w would, in, would indeed be a, a subtype OK, what about going the other way? Um, uh, we can go up like this. Um, we've got a list of something that extends high watts a bit bigger than high well object, of course. And um, a list of something that extends object, which we can just write like that. Uh, similarly, we can play around with this list. And the next thing, obvious thing up the tree from list is a collection. So we can do collection of the same thing. And uh, likewise, we obviously got collection of um, something that extends object which we can just do like that 
Now, of course, we could go further, um, not much point. Uh, you get the idea. Um, there's iterator, for example. That's uh, a collection is a subtype of iterator, and you know we can put iterator in here and then object and so on. But um, you get the idea anyway. Now, um, over here, you notice we got G. Um, we could also have used. Um, um, we've also got uh, vector, array list, linked list. In fact, any subtype which um, uh, any subtype of uh, the generic type list can be uh, used in here instead of G. So we've got all that lot as well. And um, just to try and keep all this lot in mind because um, the next thing we're going to do is complicate things a bit by um, looking at um, uh, a list of something which extends this this thing here which is a list of lists which um, well very occasionally might be useful and uh, that's what we're going to look at next so keep all this um, uh, all of this stuff in mind because that's what we're going to examine next <laughs>